Today I'm going to be making a chevron pattern serving tray with walnut handles and sides. The chevron pattern is made of three quarter inch plywood. First I start by ripping down the plywood pieces on the table saw at just a little bit over one inch width. Then I stair step those pieces slightly and start the glue up process, then turning them on end. Let's go. Once the glue is dried, I run them through the planer. Then I strike a straight edge, use a circ saw for this, and then run them through the table saw. Again, those are cut at, I think, about one and a half inches in width. Then you'll rotate one piece to make kind of an arrow or the chevron pattern, glue those up. I glue up three separate panels so that way it can fit through my planer which holds up to 13 inches. I then square up the ends with the miter saw. One important note is to take a round over bit with your router on the back sides of those so that way you minimize tear out on the planer. Remember to use calls, that way you can keep it flat and level. And then when I run it over to the table saw to cut down to my final dimensions, I like to use painter's tape just to minimize the plywood from tearing out. Before I start gluing the sides on, I do a complete finish of sanding on this and filling any of the voids with CA glue. I do water pop between the adhesives just to try to help get out any voids that may be in the plywood. To make the handles, I use a one quarter inch piece of scrap plywood and then use that as a template to cut out the curved edge. 
First I use a half inch spiral up cut bit to just do a rough cut out where the handles will lie. And then I take a 3D printed template and a guide bearing on a one quarter inch spiral up cut bit to do the fine tune trimming. Then off to the bandsaw to cut the curves as close to the outside line as I can. And then I'll attach the template, take it over to the router table, and use the template as a guide to finish it off. Before I attach the sides, I do cut a rabbit groove on the inside bottom portions of the side panels and handles, just so that way it overlaps the plywood edges a bit. I wanted a little bit different profile, so I used a chamfer on the inside only portion of the handles and the side rails just to give it a little bit different look. And then I did round over the edges on the outside. Then time for the final sanding. I do like to use an iron just to kind of pop the grain a little bit more, just for that fine dents and dings and scratches that I may not have seen. I use an air compressor to blow the dust off, then take a tack cloth to get off any fine-tuned dust, clean it with mineral spirits, and then off to the finishing process. I use Odie's oil for this. Uh, first I start with the extra thin. It's just nice and thin so it does soak deeper into the grain fibers and then you can finish it with our top coat. Dad and Chris, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If anyone else did, just hit me a comment and I'll mention you next time.